Welcome back everybody, it's Death Dealer, and uh, today I am at part 8 of the game Stranded Deep. I'm doing a playthrough, um, so it's going to consist of a lot of different parts. Um, I just first came off to this other island. Let's see, there's the big ship in the center, well, pretty close to the center. And then, I do believe, if I remember right, it's been a couple days since I played, that is the island that I have more of my main base stuff on. I think actually I can kind of see it right there. Um... But I have an island, and I come over to this island here to do a little uh, scavenging, picking up some supplies, resources, um, getting ready to uh, hopefully for long here go down into the bottom of the ship if I have everything I need in order to uh, do some scavenging for some more boxes. Um, but beside that, I'm just first going to catch up here where I'm at. trying to remember exactly what I was in the process of doing. I had built a little shelter and a little fire um, in case I need to eat. Wish my food and water are still doing pretty good. <clears throat> now I am away from my water stills. grab a drink of water. I, I do want to wait until the sun comes up before I do go navigating um, or trying to swim into that boat. And But I'd also need to collect the couple things I will need in order to, to do that. Which I really need some daylight to do everything. So... I think what I'm going to do between now and then is just have a quick meal and then see if I can rest. Oh, whoops, wrong button. I guess I'll just start that again. Alright, let's try that again. Okay, there it is. Just cook me up a quick meal, because if I do remember right, there actually is a uh, sea urchin somewhere right over in here in this area. So I don't want to step on him in the dark. I don't really have the supplies I need in order to um, make an antidote. So you best to try to avoid that as much as you can. As you can see, I've been alive for 11 days so far. Uh, made some pretty interesting progress. Actually, I'm going to grab the small meat and throw it on there too. Because I'm going to take a nap, and then after my nap, and yes, you can cook small meat this way on the fire. Um, you don't necessarily have to have this have it propped up on it, but as long as it's pretty close. There we go. <clears throat> like I said, I'm just going to wait for them to cook real quick, have me a quick meal, uh, try to rest so that I can go about uh, exploration here uh, with some daylight. I need to make sure I have an air tank with me, and then I got those, and I need to go make the um, the jug for them, so I can have the breath boost with the air tank, and it works really good. So 
So now I'm just basically just burning time right now waiting. I guess I could run out here and grab me a coconut real quick. I'm going to need these to build the lashing <clears throat> for the jug for the coconut to make the breath boost. So I guess there's a couple things I can kind of do here. I'm waiting for the meat to cook. Okay, so there was one. Okay, grab my coconut. Got a couple coconuts floating around out here. So, small meat's cooked. Go ahead and eat that. Now the medium meat's cooked. I'm going to go ahead and print that out. I'm just going to leave that laying right there for the moment. And see if I can sleep till the morning. Okay, so it's almost 5.30 in the morning. Pick that up and eat it. Coconut flask. I'm going to go ahead and drink that while I'm here. And then I'm going to pick up my juga. Make a breath booster. Okay, so I got that part ready. Starfish. See what I can unload here. Free up some space. And usually I keep a one of these with some medical stuff in it here somewhere. There we go. Put that in there. Gonna need that. Okay, now I believe what I'm gonna do is sail on over to there so I can have the boat close by. I can sail or swim, either one. Actually, I think I am going to just take my breath booster when it gets a little bit lighter out and I'm gonna swim over there. Oh, yeah, there's that nasty sea urchin I was talking about. You can see the water's starting to get a little clearer. Fish are generally super easy to catch, as you can see, just standing in the shallow water. Now if you use the fishing spear when you do get them, they actually stick to your spear, so like I said, I'm merely just wasting time right now for a minute, um, waiting for it to get a little less murky, 
because I don't believe I have a flashlight yet. It's one of those things I'm going to be hoping to find um, oh so directly in one of these crates. Okay, so I'm going to take my air tank and I want to quick quick equip it. Okay. Then I want to drop my hammer with the rest of them. And put the pickaxe in here in hopes that I don't need it. So now when I press to my left, I can I have the air tank handy. All right, looks like we're ready to go. This will come in handy. Okay, don't need that. Let's do this. Just go around and start collecting um, anything you can find. Okay, that's going to go into the lower bows of the ship. Time to come up for some air. Ooh. Make sure I stay over the ship here. I don't want to get over too far and let the sharks think that uh, I'm a meal for them. Okay, so I got a box here. Let's see what I can all fit in here and condense a little bit. I think that's everything I can get in it. Fortunately, the box isn't super safe up here, but it should not float off of up here. That's the bonus. Okay, if I can ever get turned around. Go down inside here. There's a couple more boxes that I know of. And we haven't gotten to the deep part yet. We're simply just still in the more shallow parts of the boat. Probably should have saved the breath booster for when I went to the deeper parts. Um. Start making my way back for some air. Okay, so now I got another couple crates. So all kinds of goodies are in these. See what I can consolidate here. Okay. Think I'm ready to go back in again.
pick up a quick crate here. And there's some tires down here. The unfortunate part is they are a pain in the butt to get out of here. come through and pick up as many of these crates as I can. Okay, I think I've got them all. So I'm going to start heading toward the surface, so I don't have to use another shot of my my tank here. Uh -oh. All right. And there's likely some more stuff down there. Um, like I said, I didn't spend excess amounts of time uh, down there looking. Um, but like I said, just for that little bit of time, I got me six more storage crates. Um, that's a pretty good uh, victory in my eyes. <clears throat> for, for one breath out of my, uh, my air tank there. I think that's not too bad. Like I said, I can pick all these up now. And then I also believe... If I remember right, there's something in this container up here. But like I said, I just go try to go around and salvage as much stuff as I can. Ah, uh, that didn't work like I wanted it to. So yeah, now I'm really in trouble. I fell and I broke something. I wanted to jump off into the water. That didn't work like I wanted to. So now I need to go make a split. And there's all kinds of uh, clay deposits here. Right next to where I parked, so. I might make a split, grab some more clay here. Um, then I'll be able to uh, make some clay flask. <clears throat> Okay, so now I need to fix my my little boo boo there. Got broken bones. Okay, so I need to make a splint, which I believe is under consumable split. Uh, two lashings, two sticks. I know I had two lashings in one of these crates. Sticks, splint, okay, so I got the splint on, okay, I need to get something to drink. run over, grab my coconuts and do my little coconut trick here. So I did get some more crates, uh, did cost a broken bone, but I got more crates. Pick all these back up now that I can jump again.
Okay. Now I got a lot more storage on my boat. Grab my pickaxe and leave the electrical part here. And I said I was going to go after that, um, them clay deposits I seen here. That shark better be lucky I'm not coming for him. Not yet. I haven't built enough spears and stuff to go after the, sh the sharks and attack them or needed them for food or leather yet. But it is something that is coming up that will need to be done. They are a useful resource um, once you get to where you can start killing them. deposit over here on my way back I seen stay away from the lionfish there he can spell trouble quick bring back me a big old fish Like I said, when I play this game, most of the, like, half of your gaming is, is a lot of it's underwater, really, because there's a lot of resources in the water. You just got to be weary of the sharks and be able to uh, attack them, fend them, fend yourself from them. Archer fish are good fish to get. thought there was a another there it is right there ooh and there's a sea urchin right by it so I need to be pretty careful is rolling away. Ooh, sea snake. Ooh, I got lucky there. Maybe he won't come back. That could have been bad, though. Had he poisoned me, which still could be if he still does. I'll give it to him. This clay deposit is in a tricky spot. Lots of uh, poisonous stuff around. But I think I have all that I need. It should allow for me to build, maybe I'll make some uh, clay flask once I get back to the home island. So I got a handful of things to do once I get back there. Um, everything from um, I can start making some clay flask with this clay to. I'm gonna need to start making some weaponry. Of course, you see I've been gathering some fish, bringing it back with me. I mean, it's just general food source, period. I really don't need to. There's plenty of fish everywhere in this game. Um, that is one thing that is extremely plentiful. So there's still some more left to that shipwreck right out here, the one I was just in. Um, I wanted to come over here and check these out real quick while I can still see in the water. I do believe if I go back to that one I was just at, I'm going to have to come a little better prepared. I'm going to have a flashlight, a torch with me. Um, that's going to make a big difference. 
Some Billy Balls. I can collect them. <clears throat> there were some over there too. Um, they are. These are great for building a raft or if you want to build a um, fishing pole. You need to use one to build a fishing pole, but they come in groups of five. You need five to build uh, the raft part. And if you make a fishing pole out of them, that takes one, and then you'll indefinitely have a four off ratio. <laughs> so keep that in mind if you do use it to make the fishing pole. Um, I do believe I did it in my first game to get food, but then once I realized food's pretty plentiful in this game. Um, Ooh, there's a torch that I need. It's a good deal. I'll take that crate. And I don't see a crate on that one. too much stuff in my storage right now. Let's get up here on top because I know there was another crate right there. Um, let's see what I can compile a little bit here. more space so now I can gather those couple items I already have a spy glass I really don't need to pick them up But as you can see, this trip has been extremely plentiful for uh, some crates. And there's some barrels here. So if I wanted to add to my raft, I could use these barrels or I could build a hobo stove with the barrels. Okay, so hopefully I can make it back to shore here without finding a sea urchin all right all good although I do believe my character is probably hungry and thirsty again yep looks like it so and we've been gone for I believe two nights from the main shelter oh whoops full inventory can't skim the um... can't skim the crab with full inventory I think I'm gonna do just like I did before where I'm gonna take a medium piece and a large a medium piece and a small piece of meat cook them both at the same time so I can eat one as soon as they're done cooking and then I have one for uh, in the morning when I wake up to top off my health that is if I can get to sleep in time kind of starting this late A little on the late side. We'll see what happens here. Pick up this cloth. Ok. 
can stack these up in here. Like I said, I probably missed things throughout the game. Um, I'm just trying to gather some bare essentials, necessities, things I need to do, different things. And as far as this goes, I don't even care for the flare guns. Um, there's, they're really of no use in the game except for providing some light, like this. And it'll provide you some light. Um, <clears throat> you might be able to use them to fire at enemies and stuff, but I don't even know if that'll work. As far as scaring them off, getting them to leave you alone, potentially. But, like I said, I don't really use them too much. I look at them as a, a waste. Because there is no way to use them to be saved in the game. There's only one way to finish this game. And you gotta gather the right supplies and everything you need. You gotta kill the bosses. Gather enough fuel, water, and food, add it all to your supplies in the main boat in the middle here, and then fly off the island. Um, and you have to basically survive until that time. And as far as that, I don't believe there's any other way off the island. Or off of the, uh, the area where you're stranded here, not the island. <clears throat> okay, so I ate the small piece of meat. As soon as the large piece gets, or medium piece here gets done cooking, for some reason I keep wanting to say large. Once that gets done, um, I will put out the fire and grab a quick nap. You can see my flare still, uh, still providing light. Like I said, that's about the best thing there for, is what you're seeing right now. Um, beyond that, there's really nothing more they do. The one I shot in the water, it obviously went out. I don't think they inflict any damage on enemies. Um, I could be wrong on that, but to my knowledge, they do not. And I've never used them for that, so. And now I could just go and, and harvest these coconuts off the island, or I can keep using this little coconut water trick. Either way, I mean, it's I just merely do it this way out of pure laziness. Um, like I said, there is multiple coconuts still all over this island. <clears throat> I could get, or I could build a water still. I do believe I built a, a loom at my last, at my main base, which I'm going to go back to here in a minute. Which allows me to make cloth out of the fibrous materials. So that's always a bonus. Okay, the cooked medium meat. Gonna sleep again. So once you're farther in the game, it's alright to sleep every night. Um, but you do need to sleep about every other night or your character will get tired. Now I'm gonna eat the meat. And then I'm gonna save it here real quick. I wanna thank everybody for liking and subscribing. Uh, really appreciate all the support. I'm um, just doing some gaming, playing along, having some fun. Um, you might be interested in the game, might not be great at it, you might be better than me at it. Uh, I just I've just been playing my way through nice and slow, just showing different things that I do during the game as I play. Um, and then obviously you know you can, if it helps you in any way, that's awesome. I'm glad to, uh, anything you see off my channel helps you. That's great. <clears throat> it's really good to know. Um, my label makers, I don't really use them too much. They're I mean I don't really name nothing, so they're kind of useless to me. But that's always fun to do. I like practicing throwing spears and stuff. Um, I guess what I'm going to do here, right quick, is maybe gather some wood. <clears throat> oh, my flare finally went out.
Okay, so when I put my refined spear back in my quick load spot there, uh, when I threw it, um, I always forget when I throw this stuff, it comes off of your your quick equipped. So I wanted to get that back on there. I don't really need this crab. It can stay on the island here. When I do go to leave, I'm probably going to grab some of them rocks. Like I said, I'm just doing a lot of gathering resources. Um, I did get the potato, which means I can start using that and to start making uh, the fuel needed for the plane at the end. And needed also for my uh, boat. <clears throat> and the gyrocopter. Can't forget that. Fuel does come in handy in all these instances. Does make for getting around about twice as fast. gathering them as usual um, one of the biggest things I wanted to grab the fruit like I just did for when I go back to my main island I'm planning on starting another yucca tree always want to make sure you have enough enough coming in to uh, make sure you can supply your water stills and uh, since I'm looking at expanding uh, my gardening um, on my home base I do want to uh, Always keep expanding how much fibrous material I am harvesting at home on the main island. So now I'm running into a little bit of a inventory issue. But I should have ample space out here to start putting some supplies. Flare gun, of course, I can take that out, put something in its place. Uh, the spy glasses, I do believe I had a spot for them somewhere. there I'll throw the beans in there and a lantern in there as well drop the flare gun off don't need that like I said before uh, I do want to take the rocks with me And I do want to acquire a spear gun at some point um, with having the ability to make some extra lashings and stuff. You don't need anything but wood and a lashing to make a spear gun ammo. So that can be, uh, it adds for the ability to have a lot more of it. Uh, for spears, you always got to have, unless they're the crude spears, I believe, you always got to have sticks and stones. And stones, they're semi-limited in the game. There is plentiful, um, as long as you keep going from island to island. But once you tap an island out of its stone resources, <clears throat> they're pretty much gone. <laughs> once the stone and clay and everything's harvested and picked up, then there's generally no more. There's usually not many stone, uh, much stone floating around on the in innards of the islands like this, but on the outsides there is. And here's a cura fruit. Um, I do want to take that back with me. I want to start growing them too. Um, food, and they can also be used in the making of some gauze uh, once I find the other fruit and start bringing that back as well. So we've collected some potatoes here. 
So we got all kinds of good resources so far from this island. <clears throat> it's just a matter now of getting everything back to the other island. Let's see what my inventory looks like. Ah, pretty full. I put some stuff here. Put that in there, put that in there. And I believe I had a potato somewhere else right there. Let's so put that in there. And I got some fibrous materials already stacked up, so let's add those. And I already got a bunch of stone in here. Whoops, I just did that totally wrong. <laughs> All right, now I got it right. Probably really don't need to take that coconut. I could probably leave that here. So I got multiple items here I can stack up, reorganize. Like I said, taking advantage of uh, doing your inventory right and stacking the stuff you need to will make a big difference in the game. I'm not, I can't say I'm the best at it, but I do try. Okay, so again, I'm getting a little thirsty. I'm going to hit my coconut pile one more time here. Okay, and grab my extra storage boxes I didn't have room for, uh, which I probably could have used those planks that I just put over there. Um, for making another storage thing for them in the back in the middle of my ship there. Right here. Um, but I did not yet. Um, my, my raft does need some expansion done to it. I uh, haven't got that far yet. As far as this big fish goes, I think I'm just going to uh, skin it real quick here. Just to have it gone. And then work on setting sail. Pick up my coconut flask, that can always come in handy still. Okay, so before I put down any rudders or anything, you always want to be, or put down my sail, I want to always be on the rudder. Uh, my boat travels the opposite way, what you would think. If you have not been watching, um, I steer the boat this way versus uh, guiding the boat the opposite way. And basically that allows me to basically see where I'm going and see anything that I can potentially catch out to sea here. Um, I do like to keep the canopy here over where my rudder is at to stay out of the sun. Um, that works until I start messing with the uh, motor part. <clears throat> but versus floating the boat this way and then having to see through my storage and whatever is all on my boat later being a gyrocopter, etc, etc. Because I do like to make the boat big enough are my raft big enough to take it with me in case I want to do any quick jumping around from island to island. The gyrocopter has about enough fuel when it's full. You can fly to the neighboring island and fly back. Um, you can even scope it out, I think, just a little bit, but you only have so much, so you can't really go and get into wasting a lot on exploration with it because it will run out of fuel on you. 
But so far, that that uh, recon mission of harvesting that island, I think that was pretty good. Got me a bunch of rocks. Got me uh, a handful of supplies and stuff that I can use. <clears throat> So, and potatoes and stuff, so I can start uh, getting some fuel going. Uh, I do believe, if I remember correctly, uh, I had already built the boiler for it. If not, I have the clay to build the boiler for it, so either way, it doesn't matter, no big deal. Like I said, I do believe, if I remember right, my home island, my home base is right on the other side of this rock. I think that's a little piece of some of it right there. That's where I am sailing to. And I think, actually, there was a clay deposit right there just below me. That's the other thing, to too, when you're sailing around your island, coming back home or whatever. Um, you got to watch out for those. If your boat's pretty heavy or you're carrying uh, extra stuff on your ship, you will hit those and it'll spin you. But you can also uh, see your clay deposits and stuff as you're going and floating um, for if you need them. Like I said, I, some people like to build uh, extravagant uh, homes through the clay. I'm not going to get into all that because it's not necessary for this game. Okay, so... Apparently I had a pretty good run coming at the island here, so I can't even drop my anchor. But I gotta push my boat back just a little bit. You always wanna make sure you drop your anchor. Because there is storms and they will take your boat away. Okay, so now I'm back on my home island. I've got all kinds of new goodies. Got multiple crude axes now. Could use a drink. So I'm gonna grab that while I'm here. Could use one more. Could use a bite to eat. Well, I don't have much meat here. So that's one thing I guess I can work on here is cooking up some more meat. Oh, it's disgusting. And with the smoker you can cook up five at a time, so I'm gonna grab me a couple of these fish here real quick. And I think I'm even gonna cook up baddie here. Gives me three small meats to work with. Then over there. Okay, so that's cooking. Alright, so the next thing I want to do... Clean out my bird snare. Like I said, you really only need about one bird snare. Um, if you haven't been watching in my videos previously. Okay. That is full. Okay, so here's a furnace. I'm just going to drop some parts there. Since this is all parts, put this over here. And then usually there's a big crab somewhere right around here. Ah, there he is. So me building these here actually stopped him from being able to uh, come over to this side. So that worked out really, really well. Of course, I want to get my fibrous leaves for my yucca that I have growing here. Um, and I also want to get some more planters going. <clears throat> and 
And then I got my PP plant there. And my Ajuga there. And I am able to uh, construct some more here now. Once I go grab some more supplies off the boat. Mainly out of all the crates and stuff that I just went and um, collected. So I want to take these. <clears throat> Fill those up. And I'm going to pile the rest there. And then I have a stone pile back here. Add to that. Okay, now that my inventory is a little lighter, I can come and collect more of the stuff off of here. Okay, inventory is full again. Basically, it's how you got to do it. You just got to run back and forth and keep on loading back to my parts keep those right there for safekeeping. Um, I do know I want to get another plotter going here soon. I do want to get my potatoes planted. And that'll work for the potatoes. Now I just need to go get them out of the boat. And plant them. And then I will have a fuel source coming in. It actually, it's uh, fuel and food. Because if you don't need them to, in order to make fuel, um, you can definitely eat them. Obviously, they're potatoes. And you can even plant the spoiled potatoes. They will grow. So I got those planted now. Um, we're good to go there. So some fuel is in the making. Um, let's see here. We probably are getting due for another water still. Um, which, speaking of, while I'm here, I should probably throw a little water on these potatoes. Get them good to go. And then I need to work on getting uh, my clay flask so I can do this in groups of five and not three. My clay flask and probably another water still wouldn't hurt.
And my medium meats, or my small meats are smoked, and my medium meat is cooked. So that's almost done. Put that right there. My stills are currently empty. Okay, that was my medium meat saying it was done. I want to top these off real quick. And you can use fibrous material like I just did to refill your fire. Um, obviously, as you've seen, it doesn't give you a whole lot, but it will refill it a little bit. Obviously, sticks are going to work the best. Okay, so do a little more organizing is needed around here. Clay. Oh, I need to drop the stones off. Let's see, what did I have in my inventory that was bogging me down so much? There we go. Get rid of that. <clears throat> Got a couple pieces of leather here. I'm going to drop them right by my leather, my tanner. Okay, so now I got some clay, I got a brick station, a furnace, um, I do need a fuel boiler. I thought I built one, but I guess I did not. So that can be on my to-do list. And it needs all kinds of goodies. Everything from its own little fire pit to some planks, sticks, slashings, and a jerry can. So it needs a good handful of stuff to be operational. So I guess that means I need to do some stuff in order to set that up. Campfires needed. And I think I'm going to make it... Decide where I want to put it. Actually, I want to put it over by my other fire so I can use the same kindling for both. So, right around here would be ideal. But unfortunately, it's not 